When I came across these Katrina 3s on eBay, I knew they would make for an amazing restoration. There are a few areas of permanent damage, but I'm confident we can bring these back. They desperately need a reshape, a full repaint, and a deep cleaning all over. There's no point in even trying to save these laces, so I just cut them out and I threw them away. To no surprise, the insides are dirty as usual. Even though the insoles are usually glued down, it's always surprising to see some dirt down there. So after wrestling it out, it's time to get to work. We can break down whatever's trapped in the corners. This is what we ended up with. Using some OxyClean, I'm focusing on the stains on the inside. Using standard detergent and water, I'm looking to break down some of these stains. And for the rubber areas, a brass brush will come in hand. In goes our shoe trees, and inside the laundry bags, they go. As you guys probably know by now, cold cycle, 15 to 30 minutes. After the shoes are dried, we can start the decreasing process, and all we need is an iron and a wet shirt. Now these creases aren't going to go away completely, but it's still going to look a little bit better than before. My favorite method to clean a Jordan midsole is to use a paint stripper, and this product is called Dad's Easy Spray. I'm going to apply three coats and wait three to five minutes in between each coat. This is going to give it some time to really get in there. The paint on this midsole is kind of different as you can see. You can just peel it off. And towards the very end, I'm cleaning the remainder with acetone. While we're on the topic, I'm going to prep this front area for a reglue, and then prep the uppers for a repaint. The glue that I'm using is called Barge Super Stick, and I'm applying it using a toothpick. Make sure you peel off the tape because it might rip off the glue. I need this to cure for at least an hour, then we can heat activate it and it should tack on instantly. You could use tape, but you can also use clamps. Just make sure you're not applying too much pressure with it. The midsoles are fully cleaned, they're taped up, and now we're ready to paint. We're doing light coats and passing a heat gun to speed up the process.
Three to four coats later, you should have a pretty good foundation down. Now we can sand it and remove any brush marks. When the white paint is fully laid down, it's recommended to let the paint dry on its own. If you tape up immediately, there's a good chance the tape is going to rip off the paint. The colors I used to match this midsole are infrared and fire red, an 80 to 20 ratio. A simple trick that I recommend everybody do is use a premix color as your first couple of coats. This is going to allow us to save that color that we made. So in this case, I'm using infrared. And the same thing that we did for our white paint, we're going to do for the red. This is the red paint that we mixed going on. It's time to do some quick touch-ups, so I'm going to clean the air units and take care of any paint leaks. When it comes to the back tabs, I recommend using a fine detail brush. For anything that leaks over, you can use acetone on a q-tip. There's a couple of stains on the elephant print, and by using a 1000 grit sandpaper, I'm able to gently remove it. It's as clean as we can make it, and it's time to reprint this. So the strategy I'm going for here is to use a waterproof pen and to sketch it out at first. And once we have our sketch laid down, I'm going to come back and fill it in. The pattern was missing in a few areas like here. Basically all I did here was try to branch it out and, you know, try not to overthink it. To protect our paint job, we're using Krylon Matte Finisher. Two to three light coats is all you need. Moving on to the toe caps, we can use Salon Care 40 and our indoor setup to remove the yellowing. Not only will this unyellow it, but it's also gonna lift all those deep stains to the surface. Then we can just take acetone on a cotton ball and wipe it off. Even though there's damage in the toe cap, we can still mask it by using a little bit of silicone. It just fills in that gap. The last minor steps in this restoration are to remove any loose threads, polish them using tire shine, and finally, lace them up. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you made it this far, please consider dropping a like down below. If you need any restoration advice, you can drop a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.